Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Art here, and welcome back to Central Talk, where we are reporting to you from Boston. As our regular viewers know, a couple of blogs ago, I reported on a trifecta, that's three clinical trials utilizing dental pulp stem cells, commonly referred to as DPSCs. Little did I know at the time that on our next vlog, I would be upstaged by Regina as she reported on a grand slam, a fourth clinical trial utilizing DPSCs. Well, today I get to call Gamoku. You heard that right. I'm reporting on a fifth clinical trial utilizing DPSCs, this time to treat type two diabetes. Researchers at Second Military Medical University and Sun Yat-sen University in China have conducted a phase one clinical trial assessing the safety and efficacy of DPSCs in the treatment of type two diabetes. There are currently 462 million people worldwide afflicted with this condition. And this number is projected to rise as life expectancy increases. Treating type two diabetes is an especially difficult problem as it is a two pronged issue. The pancreas does not produce enough insulin while cells become increasingly resistant to insulin. Specifically, the body's pancreatic beta cells are unable to produce sufficient amounts of insulin to overcome this developed resistance. So researchers looking to take advantage of the unique regenerative and differentiation properties inherent in DPSCs are investigating their utilization in the restoration of pancreatic beta cell functionality and the improvement of glucose metabolism. The trial recruited 24 patients with type two diabetes who regularly use insulin to manage their blood sugar levels. The participants received three infusions of DPSCs over the course of six weeks and were observed for a year. Researchers noticed that the DPSC treatment reduced blood sugar levels and signs of glycemia while increasing insulin production. All of the participants reduced their daily insulin use with three of the participants ceasing the use of insulin altogether. With the phase one trial demonstrating the safety and efficacy of DPSCs as a potential treatment option for type two diabetes, researchers are seeking to advance to phase two clinical trials, which will involve a greater number of participants and a broader exploration of optimum dosage protocols. Needless to say, we will continue to update you on the status of this trial and others involving DPSCs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.